Well, hello. Welcome back to Cranktown City. And today, what? Wait, what is this doing here? Yep, you're seeing that correctly. We're gonna be working the wood today. So this is gonna be our first step to organizing the shop so that I can get the bandsaw inside. You can see my design here. It's gonna be a drawer that will fit underneath the lathe. And it's these sections here are gonna flip up like a tackle box. And it will just be sitting on a couple casters and I can pull it out when I please. So why am I building this at MDF? Well, one, I'm trying to keep costs down. Two, I'm trying to keep weight down. And MDF is a mighty fine material, if you ask me. God, that was stupid. Alright, so I'm 100% certain my cuts are awful, so we're going to pull out the old woodworker's mill and get them knocked down to nice and square. I have these overcut side pieces, and we want them all to be even, so let's go get them ripped. Give me 20 more! <laughs> now that is a ripped board. Good freaking lord, it is dusty in here. You know what they say, if you're not inhaling 5% of your project, then you, you ain't woodworking. So we got all our parts cut. And as with any woodworking project, now's the time when we ask, what would Matthias do? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna use screws. Little bit short. Well, this is the back then. So I'm looking at this box I just put together and damn it is ugly. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna hit it with a flap disc, you know. Do what you know best, right? Man, I'm pretty sure I just broke every rule in the woodworker's code. Don't tell on me. We got ourselves a nice ugly box. Now we can start building the top, which is just gonna be two by fours for the sides. So I have something nice to anchor into. Is one done. I won't film the next one. <clears throat> okay, so we got all our boxes put together with some nice ugly knots in there. Let's get a close up. Ugly knots. Where's my split? Split wood. I never claimed to be a woodworker. But now, I think before we start installing any other hardware, I want to get these things painted. So, be right back with some probably green boxes. They're all good and painted. I use this awful, awful oil-based white paint on the inside. 
Still not totally dry, but I've never been good at waiting. And then for our cantilever boxes, I got all these parts cut out on the plasma cutter, which I could have done it by hand, but I'm lazy, you know? So let's start getting these attached. plan for getting these positioned correctly I'm just gonna prop them up at a 45 degree angle drill it in and then we're going two inches in since I can't get a nut on the other side I'm gonna fill them with epoxy and I got some five minute epoxy here because I like to live on the edge so me not being a woodworker i designed this thing with the two by fours thinking the two by fours were three and a half inches but it turns out we're a quarter inch too high to fit the casters and still fit underneath the lathe so i have this janky old router i've never used and I put an end mill in there because I got no router bits. I'm pretty sure this is sacrilege. Definitely not the prettiest hole I've ever seen in my life, but it works and it's on the bottom. So this is what we get today. Awful. I definitely scrapped an end mill, but it's done. So now we just gotta put those casters on, flip it over, and give it a try. So that's that. We've got a nice smooth in and out. Then we can open up each side, like so. So clean out under the lathe and get it installed. Look at that. You know, I think we need a handle for it. That'll do. that maybe in the future I'll get this on track so putting it back in in the right spot not such a pain in the ass but I'm pretty happy with how this thing turned out but besides the awful woodworking the half-ass paint job it is serving the purpose that it is intended for and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out so if you like what you saw here maybe go check out my metalworking videos I'm a little Keyword little, <laughs> little bit better at that than woodworking. And thanks for watching.